So that is a little bit of admin up front, but I think we need to crack on. So following on from the previous lesson, we were dealing with questions like this. And all I'm going to say to get you going is whenever we have two signs next to each other, okay, whenever we have two signs that are next to each other, we have rules in mathematics that tell us what happens when they interact. And so in the last lesson, we spoke about these types of rules and how we can use them to help us simplify situations like we have over here, where we have four plus minus my 10, basically. And that can help us simplify. And then we also use the number line to help us. Now, what's different about this first part is that I've mixed together multiplication and I've mixed together um, uh, additions. You know, basically, I've mixed them together. So I want you to all try and do these first five. And then when you've done them, put your answers in the chat and then we will have a discussion about those. Now, those rules about pluses and minuses, um, we'll talk a little bit more about them as we mix all the operations together, because I know there'll be some uncertainty about what applies, but let's just give it our best shot for now. Okay, over to my people. Yes, my people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> While you're doing that, Amashle, I am so sorry. I'm so joining you next week with my pajamas. Everyone, it's a pajama party, okay? I hope you are working and you're writing your questions down on a paper with a pen. I see Jen busy focusing there. You go, girl. You do your thing. Let's do this, guys. Okay, so yeah, let's get working. So in this first one, it would be helpful to simplify it to that as a first step. So because this is just an addition and subtraction question, we can simplify it to that. And then we think of the number line and we think, okay, well, we're starting with four and now we're taking away 10. Where do we end up? I see some good answers. Very impressive, guys. You're doing it. Okay, so I'll do the first one for you just to make sure you're on the right track. Let's see how we go with two, three, four, and five. No, I see we're making good progress. Yeah. Remember, no calculators. Yeah. Oh, that's very important. Yeah. Guys, we're doing this just with mental arithmetic. So we're not using our calculators. And so please do um, just use your brains. So I'm going to give you about another minute and then I will give you the answers for the first five and I will talk through them. And then in the second round today, I'm going to get some of the students to help us. But let's just make sure we've all had enough time to have a go at the first five. I hope you are marking your work, guys, you are marking. And if you are confused, you are allowed to ask questions. All right, let's have a look at these. So in the very first one, all that we had to do was simplify the plus minus to minus 10, and then the final answer should be minus six. In the second one, this is a multiplication question. And so you'll notice I've actually put a positive in front of the five. And so in this situation, we're multiplying two numbers. We say, look, a positive number times a negative number will end up being negative. And then five times four will just give us the 20. And so my second one is going to be minus 20. Third question, minus 12 minus minus two becomes minus 12 plus two. And then on the number line, if I'm at minus 12 and I add two, I get to minus 10. I'm moving 
basically up the number line. Then for question four, what I'm gonna get is I'm at minus two on the number line and I move up 13. And so I should end up with 11. So just think about that for a moment. There may be questions. So you, basically you at minus two, you use up two of your numbers getting to zero and then you've got 11 left. And then the last one, positive 11 times negative five, we end up with a positive times a negative is a negative. And so we get negative 55. All right, if you need to take a screenshot now and we're gonna move on to the second. Um, I didn't see any questions. Yulanda, do grab my attention if someone does raise their hand, but okay. uh, at the moment I can't see the, all those parts. Uh, but let's move on to the next five. Okay, I'm going to give you, this is a speed round. You've got one minute, well, okay, 90 seconds to do six, seven, eight. Off we go. So it's like, today is like a, a speed, speed training session. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. I've got my stopwatch here. Hmm. Well, thank you, Yulinda, for that lovely <laughs> guy. In the yeah, chat. I tried to like summarize. Once you have that, guys, ah, you will do it. Let's go. Let's do it. And then once you've done all five, if you are willing to share your answers, um, won't you raise your hand and maybe you can help me uh, by sort of audibly explaining to me what you're doing? So if you're willing, uh, just... Yay, Tapiwa, Tapiwa on the line. All right. Tapiwa, I'm going to ask you to unmute. And can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, sir. Awesome. Can you help me with number six and seven? Uh, number six, I said um, negative one plus eight. Yes. And I got you seven. I agree with you because you go through that. Number seven is a little bit trickier. Can you help me with that one? S speak me through the steps. Um, hmm. um, negative two minus negative 11. I got negative 13. Aha. Uh -huh. um, now, the part where I think I caught you a little bit is can you see this double negative here? If we had to yes. follow the steps, what does that change to? So negative two minus minus 11, what does that end up being? A positive 11. Okay, perfect. So now we've got minus 2 plus 11. But, but if we think of the number line, if we're at negative 2 and we're going 11 units to the right, where do we end up? So if you imagine like you gobble up 2 getting back to 0, how many more? So what would you end up with? So Negative 7. Okay, so not because, okay, so let me have a, see if I can show you on the number lines. So you're at negative two, and if you are adding 11, you have to move 11 units to the right. So uh, let me choose, if I start at negative two and I use up two of my units, I'm at zero, I've still got to go nine more units to the right. And so the final answer is going to be nine. nine. Does that make sense? Yes, well done. It's very, well done. honestly, this is exactly why we're doing it. So thank you so much for your question, because th this is such a common thing that students kind of, it takes a while for it to, to settle down there. So thank you so much. That was awesome. Well done, Tapiwe. Thank you. So okay, I'm going to do number eight, because I think everyone knows the answer to that at zero. And then if I look at the chat, um, a negative times a negative would give you a positive. So you get positive and then five times seven is 35. And then who would like to do number 10? If you can raise your hand. Let's go my people. I believe in you. Who's helping us this time? Amate. Okay. Amate. Amate. Let's go for you. Let's unmute you. Can you, can you hear me Amate? 
I'm asking you to unmute. Afternoon, sir. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm good, sir. Awesome. It's 14. I said, so it's negative 9 plus 2. Yes. So that will give us a negative 7. Absolutely. Ooh. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Guys, take your screenshots and I'm going to move on to it. I'm going to make it a little bit trickier or, um, for this next round. So. As I hope you're marking your work and see how, how much you got. Okay. So okay let's, let's do these ones. So I've taken it up a notch now. And remember, no calculators, hey? No calculators. So I because you've been doing so well, I feel like it's time, like I put more weights on the bench press. So let's let's do it. You'll notice I've snuck in some division now. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. So Yolanda is giving such good tips in the chat. She's kind of just, I love how she's almost like, a, like the back channel of the lesson. So don't be afraid to have a look at the, the chat. She's dropping much wisdom every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were feeling a little bit overwhelmed at this stage, while students are working on this, I would love to take a question. So please do raise your hand and maybe we can chat about something that maybe confused you earlier in the lesson. Okay. But if not, I'm going to just give you time to carry on practicing. But I, yeah, would ha be happy to take a question now while we have a bit of time, while everyone's just working. Okay. Oh, I see good answers coming in. It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. I got kicked out for some reason. Did you get kicked out? No, I'm back. It wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> You're always welcome here. You know? You're always welcome. So like Yulinda was saying in the chat, when you've got a negative divided by a positive, sometimes it can be helpful to see that, you know your final answer will end up being negative. And so all you have to do is ask yourself, what's 42 divided by six? And so that will be a helpful thing for that one. The same one for 25, if you've got a negative divided by a negative, you're gonna end up with a positive, but I won't say what. Hmm. I see Kendra, you're focusing. I see you. Okay, so just a reminder, guys, if you want to ask a question about something, you can do it in the chat or you can do it um, by raising your hand. Okay. And if anybody would like to help me with the answers for this one, pop your hand up now and you can help me through this. And again, it's just as valuable if you get it wrong as if you get it right. Because if you get it wrong, what's happening is we're all learning together. It's not just always about getting it right even. So I really respect students who are just willing to give it a go and, and work through it with me without being absolutely certain they know the answer. Uh, so please, it's, that's almost the most valuable part of this process. So pop your hands up when you're done and you feel like maybe you can you can help us. Or maybe you just, yeah. Okay. So um, give a moment more. So Amarthi, I see your hand is up. Do you want to help us through? Um, so I've put the right answer down for 21. Can you help me through Stop. question... 22 to get going. Uh, 
So negative 14 minus negative 4. Yeah. That will, I got an answer of negative 10. Okay, but tell me how I agree with you, but how did you get there? Um, two negative numbers. I mean, neg negative numbers will give you a... How, how do you explain this? Yeah. You just get a positive, right? Huh? Would you, were you gonna say go. We have you, we have you. <laughs> okay, and then the negative 14 plus four will give you negative 10. Yes. Can you help me with 23? Um, 16 plus negative 10. What does that become when you simplify? I got an answer of six i agree because you, that becomes minus 10 thank you so much Amate. Yeah. and well so the done, last, i'm going to do the last two with you guys now if you have minus 13 plus minus six that will simplify to 13 minus six which gives you seven and then minus 40 divided by minus five this is a division um, you're going to end up with a positive, and 40 divided by 5 will be 8. So just if there are any questions or comments, now is a good time to raise your hand. That was quite a bit harder, and what I want to draw your attention to is the first question, 21, was a division question. It involved negative and positive numbers, but that was mainly a division question. Whereas the other ones, they were about addition and subtraction. And so we have to start to get a bit of a feel for how we work with these, these differences. Um, I'm going to go to Ravarashe. Ravarashe, yeah. She has a Ravarashe, question. do you want to unmute yourself? And you can ask your question. Um, so for, neg for 24, isn't it supposed to be negative 13 minus 6? Ooh, you are on the money. You're on the spot. Well done. <laughs> so let's, I just changed the question. So this part was fine. But when I, if I start at negative 13 and I take away 6, I'm moving to the left on the number line, which then gives yes, me sir. minus 19. You are well super done, Rubarash. <laughs> yes, We're sir. still on holidays and you're like, no, nah, I still got my brain. Well done, girl. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Um, so, guys, can you see how, like, working together as a team, like how we, yeah, you, know, you just learn so much together once we're, we're in a team together. Okay, let us move. I think what we need to do is before we even get to the halfway point, I'm going to take you to a different type of question now. Okay, so it turns out that obviously we've been working on addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, but sometimes we have to bring them together and we use something called uh, bod mass. And bod mass tells us if I'm given a whole bunch of operations, which of them get done first? So I'm going to do these examples with you. And then using these examples as guidance, we're going to start doing a second round of questions. But let's put all our attention onto example one to start with. In example number one, there's a multiplication of a number, but there's also a bracket. And what Bodmas tells us is that we have to do whatever's in the bracket first. And then we can do the multiplication second. So multiplication is after the brackets. So what I do in this question is I leave the minus two all by itself. Oh, that's far too big. Let me use a different. Leave the minus two all by itself, leave the multiplication, and I work with what is minus three plus five. And minus three plus five, I'm at minus three on the number line. I move up five and I get to two. Now that I've done that operation, I can do my multiplication. And this is a negative number multiplied by a positive number, a positive two. So a negative times a positive will end up being negative and two times two would be four. So the answer to this is going to be negative four. Okay, so that's example number one. Let's look at example number two. It's a little bit more complex. So we have addition of these numbers, plus minus. Basically, when it comes down to it, the the part that needs to get done and so students will debate this a little bit 
But essentially, what's happening here is the division has to get done first. So give me a thumbs up in the chat if you understand why the division must get done first. I want to see if you understand or if I need to talk more about that. Thumbs up if you understand why division happens first. Thumbs down if not. Okay. So there is a little bit of uncertainty here, but basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I'm going to take minus eight, okay, and I'm going to divide it by four. And if I do that, I'm going to get basically minus two. So now it's not the only way of doing this. I could also say, I could leave the, the minus in front and just say what's eight divided by four but it's going to have the same effect. So basically I'm going to end up with minus three plus minus two and the minus two comes from the bit in yellow. Now there's the negative two that's left on the end here. Now, once I've done that guys, what's awesome about this is there's no more division involved. So now once the division has been handled, I can just come along and deal with this part over here. And we know, and also it's only pluses and minuses now. So that helps too. So now I get minus three minus two because plus minus just gives me a minus. And then I get that. And then the last step is going to be say, to say I'm at minus three and I take away two. So then I get to minus five. And then I take away two more and I get to minus seven. Okay, so what, what did I do in this question? I started with the division and then I just applied my rule and then I went through that process. Then the last example question that I'm going to do before we do a little bit of practice is given this question over here, when it's written with a bracket, like a long fraction bracket, we have to work in the numerator and the denominator first, basically. It's almost like it's its own form of bracket. This thing over here in between is its own form of bracket. So I'm going to work on the top and I get negative four times negative three. And inside that bracket, negative times the negative is a positive. So I get 12. On the bottom in that bracket, I actually have to do a little bit of extra work because of the minus minus. So that's going to become minus three plus nine. And then I have to do a little bit more work and say, what is minus three plus nine? Well, minus three on the number line, I add nine, I get six. And then the last step is to say 12 divided by six is two. So we need more practice at this. This was just meant to be a quick example of how we start to use bod mass with positive and negative numbers, but we need to practice this. But I would suggest if you can take a screenshot, if you felt like, oh, this is where I start to go a bit pear shaped. Time to shine. Take your screenshot. Take your screenshot. <laughs> I see you, Kendra. Screenshot so that you can understand better. Okay. So let us go now. Oh, wait. Let me go down because that's where I'm hiding my other examples. So there are three questions that involve using bod mass. I want you to do these three as best you can. Um, so these are integer questions that re require you to think about bod mass. And I want you to try and do these three. And then after we've done these three, we're going to take a stretch and brain break. And I notice the sun is starting to go down. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> these question, this questions are so spicy. It's so <laughs> spicy that I'm, I'm thinking of ribs. That's all that I'm thinking about. That's how, how spicy these questions are. So you, let's do it. No. I'm thinking about a song called Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me Now. <laughs> um, there is a song, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that's what's happening to me right now. <laughs> so Let's work, work. Oh, Caravaggio. Carava, Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hand so, How's it going? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Very good. What can I help you with? Um, is number one actually, is the answer actually one? 
Uh, I haven't worked it out yet, but what I know is that the division is going to be done yet. Oh, sorry, done first. So let me. Mm. So what I have, yes, it's going to be one. So, Professor, I don't, I don't understand how it could turn out to be one. Okay, so let me try and explain why I think it's one. Now, you have a choice. You can either think of this as 15 divided by 3 and leave the negative in front, or you can think of it as minus 15 divided by 3. Both of them will give you the same answer. But you, you have to realize that division gets done first. Now, if division gets done first, you should then get 6. So what's 15 divided by 3? It's 5, but I haven't dealt with the negative, so I get negative 5 here, and so I get 1. Or if you do it the other way, if you say it's minus 15 divided by 3, it's minus 15 divided by 3 is minus 5, in which case you get 1 as well. So does that help a little bit, Convergio? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see how you can do a number 2 and 3. Now remember, number 2 and 3, you have to do, um, yeah, use bod mass. We have Rubarash on the line. Uh, would you just unmute her? I've lost my bubbles for a second. Okay. <laughs> Rubarash, go ahead. I What's go. your yes. <laughs> um, sir, can I please help you do number two and three? Oh, absolutely. We'll help you with number two first. So take me through number two. Okay. So it's going to be. Um, you're going to first do the division, so negative 10 divided by 2, which is going to give you neg negative And then um, yeah. negative 5 plus 1, which is okay. going to give you four, negative 4. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what I want to point out is this first bit. It's often useful to just think of this as a negative 10 in front, and the negative divided by the positive ends up being a negative. And what sort of negative is it? It's 10 divided by 2. It's negative 5. So that's really the trickiest step. Once we have that step, we're good to go. Okay, what about number 3? Can you hear me, Ravashe? How do we do? So you're going to do the brackets then, which... Sorry? Okay. Oh, so you're going to do the brackets first. So the first bracket is 4 minus 7, which is negative 3. Perfect. Okay. And, and then the um, a negative, a negative um, and a negative makes a positive. So it's going to be positive 6. Perfect. Yep. That's exactly what we do. And then? Then you're going to do, um, you're going to say 3 times negative 3. Yep. So you're going to do this multiplication first because multiplication yes. happens first. And what do you get? Negative nine. Okay. And then final answer? Negative, ne um, negative three. Okay. Well done, Good. girl. Woo! Well done, Wonderful. everyone. Okay, people, what I want you to do is I want you standing on your feet and I want you stretching and I want some enthusiasm. So let's see it. I want to see some, I'm going to stand up as well because we've been going for half an hour and our brains need a break. Let's go, guys. Let's go. And, let's, and you then again, let us know the people who are shining brightest in their stretching <laughs> because stretching is important. Yeah, it is important. Let's go. I see yeah. Kendra and mom. They are busy shining right there. I see them. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing uh, it. Woo! We've been learning. MTRs, well done. We do mellow. I see you, girl. <laughs> girl, let's move. Let's move. I see. <laughs> move. Move. All right. Let's let's move, move, move. Yeah. Oh, I feel better over here. Woo! Okay. That was nice. Uh, this is our brain break puzzle. So I don't think we've done this one. I don't remember those little piggies looking so... <laughs> well, have we done this uh, one? No, I haven't seen it. I don't remember this one. Okay. Can you solve the problem of a cat plus a pig plus a horse? Um, yeah. And pop your final answer in the chat when you are, are done. 
Let's go, guys. Brain, brain work. Yep, it is. Brain time. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right. So we all agree the cat is 10, but I want to know what is a cat plus a pig plus a horse? That is your ticket to ride. Mm. I seem to like talking in song titles. That's another Beatles song, by the way. <laughs> ticket to ride. Uh, okay. 10, 10. Okay, the piggies. What are the piggies going to be? Well, we can use our knowledge of equations where we add 10 to both sides and then two piggies will be 32. So one little piggy, I think is going to be 16. Yeah. Notice, so I was being a bit sneaky there. I was using my math teacher powers and I just went, I'm going to add 10 to both sides. And if you were with us for the equations part of this, You'll know why that's, you know, it knocks out the negative 10, but you don't have to go to that degree of, of thinking. Uh, so we have, what did we say? 16, 16, 16. Mm -hmm. So what's my final answer going to be? So a horse is given as a five. It seems like the community has decided. What is the final answer? Rebetsue has a final answer. Mini has a final answer. Who else? Well done, guys. Okay, MTRs, tell us, what is the answer? What's your answer? Um, so. Yes. How, how is the pig 16? The pig is 16 because 16 plus 16 is 32 and 32 minus 10 gives you 22, which is here. Oh, damn. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, yeah. I forgot. In I didn't give it minus. Your final answer? I thought it was a plus. My no final worries. answer is 31. Well 31. Done. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's shine brightly into the next set of examples. So, over to you guys now. Now I'm throwing in something a little bit extra. When I put the power of three up there, what the power of three means is that it just means minus two times minus two times minus two. So that's what this little three is doing over here. It's just repeating whatever's below. It's repeating it three times as multiplication. Okay, over to you guys. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Peter, Peter loves us, guys. He didn't want us to fall into the trap of thinking that, oh, that's just something else that we don't know. So now <laughs> we already know that what it means. Let's, let's do it. Don't let's fall do into it. the trap. Okay. And then, yeah, if you are getting stuck, pop a chat question. Um, Yulanda is always, always looking, and then yes. so we can also have a chat if you're getting a bit stuck here. But I think that most of you, you just need a bit of time to to give this a go. Ah, you guys are awesome, Tapiwa on the line. Okay, Tapiwa, how can we? What's your question? Um, sir, I said um. I first started in the brackets, nine minus four, four and okay. I got five. Okay, so let me do a little bit of writing over here. So one minus, and you said you did the bracket first, which is five, which I totally agree with. But now, do you, what do I do from there? I said um, one, one minus four and I got one minus five and I got four. Ah, but be careful, be careful because... There's something called bod mass, and bod mass, bod mass is a greedy little thing. So it wants you to do the division first before you do the subtraction. Does oh, that, yeah. Does that make sense? Nah, that's now, where I'm going wrong. 
Okay, but you could, I mean, you could say minus five divided by five or just focus on the five and leave the negative out of it. Again, both things will work, but the most important thing is that the division must get priority. It's greedy, man. It wants, it gets what it wants because of bottom. Oh, so yes. that beats oh, it is the, the bracket. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. All right. You should come up with a song and then you play the guitar <laughs> and who was it? Amate. No, maybe it's not Amate. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So we can sing Bod Mess, Bod Mess the whole time. Uh, thank so, you, sir. Pleasure, man. So I get zero for the first one. Uh, okay, what, well, Toma? I can see your hand is up. So let me try and come to you. Can you hear me, Toma? Can you hear me, Watoma? Hi, Watoma. Ah. Hi. Who's speaking? This is Nomsa. Hi, Nomsa. Um, Go ahead. What's your question or do you have an answer for us? I have an answer for number five. Brilliant. Let's do it. Tell me what to do. Um, so it's seven minus negative two to the power of three. Okay. And so, so what I done was yeah. um, I said seven minus, then I opened the bracket. Okay. And then I just said negative two times two times negative two times negative two. Perfect. So you basically put all this stuff. Uh, let me see if in I can write bracket. this nicely for you. So it, I'm going to make a dot because sometimes we use a dot for multiplication. So you basically did this, huh? Yes. And then I got seven minus then i open the bracket once again no and i got negative eight perfect perfect because a negative times a negative is a positive but then a positive times a negative you do end up with a negative okay keep going and then so then i got the answer of 15. okay but then you even did this last step where you went okay minus a minus is a plus and then you get your 15. yes and i'm so bad Okay, and who would like to help us with number six? I see um, Mac. I don't know if it's a question or if you can help us with number six. I'm going to unmute you. Can you hear us, Mac? So, Hi, Mac. Just click on that little button that comes. Uh, say, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. Okay. So what I did is that I times negative two at uh, three times by itself. Perfect. Yeah. And, and then my answer was negative eight. Negative eight, okay. Then, then I would be negative eight minus bracket, uh, brackets negative five. Okay, so you got this double negative. What do you do about that? You turn it into a plus. Fantastic. Well done. And then the final answer? The final answer would be negative three. Absolutely. Well done. Well done, girl. Okay. So, guys, if you need to take a screenshot, I see a couple of hands up. So, we might need to have a chat. Um, but that is what I get as the answer to. And we're just going to do maybe one more set or maybe two more sets at a maximum. So just take a screenshot now if you need to. And then let me see. Yeah, I like the look of this one. Let's try and do seven, eight, and nine. And then while we're working on that, if some students are feeling very confused, I would love for you to put a question in the chat or for you to raise your hand. But otherwise, over to you people. I feel like you can do this. Um, I think Caravaggio has a question on the last slide that we were cool go ahead um so yeah. how did how did that become an eight okay and the last question let me just quickly go over let me just zoom in a little bit so we can all see um how did it become negative eight are you talking about in question six yes yes sir okay so if you think of a negative two times negative two that is a negative times a negative and so it gives us positive four. Are you okay with that? Yes, sir. But now imagine you have positive four and you times it by negative two. So now a positive times a negative is a negative and four times two is eight. So you get 
negative eight. And oh. that negative eight is the negative eight over here. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Perfect. Thank you. Pleasure, man. Cool. Let's do number, well, let's give a bit more time on number seven, eight, and nine, basically. MTS is feeling confident. I like the confidence. MTS, are you done yet? <laughs> yeah, be careful, MTS. You never know. When... It. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know what's going to bite you. Uh, so, according to this, the bracket should get done first. And so, make sure that you're doing this first. Yeah, I feel like these questions have a lot of traps, guys. So don't fall for the traps. Maybe yeah. you see on the line. So in this next question, what happens is when you have, you have the two times negative four and divided by four, there's actually hmm, negative eight, negative two. Oh, it'll give you the same answer. Okay. It's, it's going to give you the same answer. My, my preference would be that if you've got a multiplication and division, they both have the same order of precedence. So if you're deciding between, should you multiply two by minus four or should you divide by four? What I'm going to decide to do is multiplication, division, and have the same order. They're the most, they're the same rank of importance. So you just do them reading from left to right. And so two times minus four is minus eight divided by four. And then what's negative eight divided by four? It's going to be negative two. So that's going to be the answer for, for that one. Now, some of you, I'm not sure if you got that, if I'm looking at the chat. So Malusi, I want to unmute you. Uh, hi, sir. Hey. <clears throat> um, how are you? I'm very good. And you? Um, I'm fantastic. Um, yeah. So basically, um, so on number seven, would you yeah. basically do like whatever's outside of the bracket, you times it with what's inside? Yeah. So if something, if something is next to, let me just get a different color to make it a little bit easier. If these two things are next to each other, it's implied or it's, it's the notation. This means that they multiply. So basically this is the same as writing that. Now, when you have that expression, what I was saying is multiplication and division have the same importance. So basically, given that situation, all you're going to do is you just choose to read from left to right, and you do this bit first. And you get negative 8. And then once you've got that negative 8, when you divide negative 8 by 4, you get negative 2. Yes, sir. And then, sir, um, inside, would it, um, <clears throat> would it like... Would you take negative six and then plus two? So would it be two um, times um, negative four divided by four? Yeah, so you, you do what's in the bracket first. And so you must get negative four for that calculation first. And then you multiply because brackets are, are the most important. They have the highest order. And then, okay. sir, once you figure out what's in the bracket, what's the yeah. next step? Would it be two times? Because I got... Um, after the next step, I, yeah. um, I got two times bracket negative one. And then my overall answer was negative two. Yeah, okay. It, it can, it does give you the same answer. So that's fine. It, that does work out. It's not wrong to do that. The, the basic rule is that if something has the same order of importance, you just read left to right. But in this case, that's not going to, you got the same answer. So that's fine. Okay, let's look at number eight. In number eight, I'm going to deal with what's in the bracket first and I get negative one. Okay. So four minus five is negative one. And then what happens is I have to multiply negative three by negative one. And so I have seven plus three. And then I'm going to have 10 as my answer. Kukla and then, on the line. Sorry. Uh, Kukla, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead and ask a question. Sir, so... Yeah. Uh, hi, sir. Hello, how's it going? So, sir, uh, what if I do... Very good. Say I'm good, sir. Yes. So, what if I did like this, and then I said, uh, I took the two outside the bracket, sir. Then... Yes. I, I took 
and multiply it with the numbers inside the brackets. Yes. Yeah. And then I say it's two two times negative six equals to equals to negative twelve. Yeah. Okay. Here's and let me stop you there. The, the reason you're not going to do that time is is, two. Okay. The reason you wouldn't do it is brackets are the are the are the king of the maths land. And because brackets are the king of the maths land, yes. they get first prize always. So two can say, I want like to be number one, I want to be top of the pile. Brackets say, sorry, bud. So that that's why you do the brackets first. Does that does that help a little bit? Okay, so guys, we're just gonna um, finish off because we all, it's, it's a, I need time for you to do your quizzes today. But just for number nine, uh, what I would do for number nine is the first thing that you have to do is this minus four squared. And what that really is, is just two minus fours being multiplied. And so you have to do that bit first. So, if I go along, I go eight minus, now what's negative four times negative four, it's just gonna be 16. And then I get that. And then the final answer is gonna be eight minus 16 minus five, which is gonna be minus 29. Wait, no, I lie, it's not gonna be minus 29 because you start at eight. So if we go eight minus 16, we get minus eight minus five. And then we get minus 13. All right. So guys, um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you and, uh, to put the quiz link in the chat. Um, and we're going to pause there for today because I think that we've definitely moved from basic integer calculations to more complex ones. And I'll take one or two more questions. So um, Kostahang, Hang, I'm going to come back to you and unmute you. What's your question? Hello? Can you hear me, Kotlahan? Otherwise, River Rache, I'm gonna to come to you. Okay, sir. Um, yes. So, about um, for number eight, right? Yes. Isn't it supposed to be the brackets first, which is four minus, minus five, ah. which is negative one? Perfect. And then um, seven minus three, which is four. And then ah. aren't we supposed to say, no, because because remember this is multiplication right so the brackets are the big dog in the game so they get done first yes sir. and then after they've had their turn the next most important is multiplication and this three is what's being multiplied oh okay sir and okay. so then when that happens we get negative three times negative one or three times negative one with a negative in front it's still going to be the yes, same sir. thing that's how we get the plus three and last of all we do the seven oh. plus three Oh, okay. All right. Um, oh, everyone, okay, so it's I been fantastic really to joining like you today. I hope months. that, uh, yeah, I hope that your holidays continue to be good and you keep on learning uh, and enjoy the quiz today. Um, 